to Charlemagne the God saying, hey, uh, Joe Budden is a network, my nigga. And if you know what's already going on, in my opinion, Charlemagne wrong. Uh, this a whole little bunch of layers. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. But basically, this coming from Joe Button telling Charlemagne the God after hearing what he said about Joe Button ending his podcast situation with Spotify, which is an exclusive release and uh, content of the Spotify before it goes to uh, YouTube and other places. I don't know if it even go to Apple Music. I don't know about that for sure, so don't hold me to that. But it go to YouTube if it once it drops. Then on a couple days later, they let it release to YouTube and everything like that also. But I want to say this right here, that when Joe Budden started all this shit, man, he always spoke on the creators being first and he pushing for that from day one. He was like he was robbed as a rapper. Now they brought it up on the, the uh, Breakfast Club, and Charlemagne said he did listen to the full segment of Joe Button talking about that. But I felt like Joe Button, by him saying that Joe Button that Joe Button wasn't a network, I feel like Charlemagne the God really didn't listen to it because Joe Button just break broke down all the unfairness in his contract about how he exceeded the numbers that. They wanted him to have. Uh, they tried to put Amy Schroomer, that's the comedian, white lady, is number one. And she like, okay, she big famous star. I had looked it up. If you want to look at the numbers and levels of Instagram fame, which means something but don't mean something. Like, I don't give a fuck about Instagram followers, but that's what people ranked everything on. Joe Budden got a million, 1.7 million. Amy Schroomer got 10.1. Now, she's a comedian. Her fan base is built. They love her. They support her. But you got to understand, you can't mix the two fan bases. So they tried to, Spotify tried to bring her in as the number one face for the Spotify, uh, Spotify podcasting. This is the first time where podcast is getting exclusive streaming deals. So Joe Budden is creating and helping create. They're going to need help, of course, but creating the deal that is how podcasts will be paid through streaming sites because podcasts never was getting money through streaming. Podcasts was like, oh, go put it on YouTube, get your little check on YouTube, and then, you know, you can sell your uh, things of that nature. And then once the ad came around, that's when they start getting their money. They start getting their ad money, their commercial type vibes, or they read stuff off during the podcast where they can get paid. So, actually getting it on streaming me, hey, I'm getting paid for the streams now. But Joe Button is like, hey, he just went in there and pointed out everything that was wrong. They put Amy Schumer. Joe Button said he did what they expected him to do times nine. I went past nine. Amy Schumer, her shit didn't do what it was supposed to do. Joe Button leaped her. And these are the numbers. This is the loyal fan base to his podcast and his podcast personality and his creative content in the form of information in which a podcast is. Hey, my shit, my skill level here is up there. She's a comedian. She ain't this. You can't mix the two. You can't mix the rapper who only going to talk a certain way with the podcast fan base that they got to fuck with you and want to hear you talk and hear how you think it. Just because you were cold at rapping and you famous don't mean your podcast is going to be good. So Joe Button exceeded Amy Schumer. And basically, to get cut it short, if you want to go go ahead in this, he went to the motherfucking people. They told him, we're not going to resign. Joe Button is making noise about it. Charlemagne said that Joe Button should not be complaining. Charlemagne said that Joe Button needs to stop signing contracts that he doesn't like. And Joe Button is not a network because Joe Button brought up about a stream, a YouTube network that they actually signed on Spotify. They got multiple like YouTube platforms under them and shit. Spotify signed with, signed them like, hey, or bought them or some shit like that. I think they might have bought them where nigga, we got all these like, let's say if it's 50, we got 50 podcasts that's under us. Y'all get on top of them. 
And now, okay, now they got all of these podcasts, Joe Budden still got the best shit over there at the end of the day. So Joe Budden is like, well, nigga, if I still got the best shit and I'm still popping, why I can't get my my situation? Why I can't get my numbers renegotiated? But vacation days, days off. Like, nigga, I'm expected to produce these podcasts no matter what so they can be on the streaming platform. Why don't I get compensated for that? They didn't get a bonus after the eight months. So Charlemagne basically was like, man, you not a network. How can you go with all these demands and you not a network? So Button is like, nigga, I am a network. That's what's in the video. So um, when you look at that situation and you tell me I'm not a network, Joe Button got the Joe Button podcast, which is on YouTube. They were continuously releasing content to that motherfucker. Then they got it on the streaming sites. That's another entity. Then I got Pull Up. That's on my YouTube channel, but it's getting sponsored. If you see that Cash App thing on there, the link on the Cash App, Cash App, plus other people who invest, I guess, and other, all that. Niggas getting paid for that shit. Revolt giving me a check, and he said Viacom. And he getting checks from different places now. This is Joe Button. Like the M's is coming in. I'm making millions now. Why in the hell... As my podcast, the thing that I put the most time into, paying me the least. Nah, nigga, y'all should be paying me more because I got so much shit going on at this point. I got other things going on. I am a network, no matter how you want to look at it. Different streams of information come from my creativity. The content that I create is information. Joe Budden is not shooting music videos. He's not... Um, uh, rapping anymore, so it's not about you know certain shit with this. It's about what makes this, what makes me a network. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a rapper no more. And I think a lot of niggas looking at Joe Button is, oh, all you doing is a podcast. No, these are different streams of content on a platform. This platform is a network when you got different entities on it that are reaching different audiences. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I feel like it's black people. That's why I feel like Charlemagne was wrong. I fuck with Charlemagne the God. Uh, that nigga be doing this thing with this content shit. Media personality shit. One of the goats. Uh, I fuck with it. And if you know, if you follow this, you will know how to say it before, man. Nigga respect how Charlemagne got different avenues to get money in and he just being himself. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. Books. Uh, 106 Apart. Of course, that was the main thing. 106 Apart, books, movies, podcasts, uh, all type of shit Charlemagne doing. Talking with the, nigga might talk with the president today. Then he gonna still probably start his own interviewing thing, but he talked with the, the vice president today. But that nigga could, if he wanted to, go host the club Friday. And nobody gonna look at him different because you know he qualified in both forms of that occupation. So I fuck with, Joe, with uh, Charlemagne the God, but... I just disagree with him on this shit. Not no hate, not no, I'm mad at the nigga, no beef. I just feel like, bro, they teach us to downplay what we really are. And by him saying he is a motherfucking uh, network, what make him not a network? The game went digital. Ain't nobody watching cable no more. You ain't got to be on TV. I'm a network that people can sit down and watch on their TV now. Everybody watch YouTube on their TV. Well, yeah, a lot of people watch shit on their TV now, streaming all this streaming shit. Then you a network, but don't let them tell you that you're not. So Joe Button also said as it stands. So we got to wait and see. They will not be renewing the contract as it stands. We don't know. It's supposed to end September 23rd. They got seven episodes left. Oh, it's on the last episode. So they dropped another episode, but I wanted to get this out for I listen to the next one because they came back and I know they probably had to speak on it again because of all the backlash. It hit the blogs, not backlash, but the news of it breaking. They got to go correct people and make sure people understood what Joe Budden's purpose was of going on this rant and not taking this deal. He doing it for himself, but he most definitely is doing it for the creators. He doing it for the creators. He want to be free to create. That's why I say he doing it for himself. He want to be able to be free to create and get paid a fair wage because he used to getting fucked over because of the record deal. So 
like I said, I fuck with everybody on these podcasts and all these personalities. I just feel like in this case, Charlemagne either really didn't listen to that motherfucker like he said he did, or he just not understanding the need to go sit down with Joe. They got that type of relationship though where they can they talk to each other. It ain't gonna be no beef between them. Them niggas gotta understand it because they really like the same motherfucker. Just one dark and one bright. One get is one get angry and one don't. But they both approach conversation in the same manner, in my opinion. Except one get angry. It's your button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politician TV. One thousand main most shit coming. Urban Politician underscore Big Ant on Instagram at Urban Politician TV. That's the little smile page, man. One thousand.